All right, we did this crazy generating function thing. And we did a nice little example, right? It was a little bananas. But we had this whole business of uh, this was a mixture of uh, a network where we have half the nodes have one friend, and half of them have three friends. And we imagine mixing them all up. And we were able to find quite detailed results about the components, uh, the um, sizes of connected components, right? This is a generating function for, uh, you know, so this is an exact thing, for pi, right? And pi is a probability. Pi sub n is probably that you randomly select a node. Well, you select a node, and that is part of a component of size n. So you expand all of this, and then you pick off everything that's in front of an x, an x squared, an x cubed. <coughs> And it turns out it's only x's and x cubes and so on, because there has to be odds. Uh, and they are the probabilities, right? Right? Generating functions, the probabilities for you know, x, the, for k, the probability of k is the number that's attached to x to the power of k in this function. All right, so we did all that. That was fun. That was fun. So we're going to do just the average um, size of components. And we don't have to go on too much about this, and I'll get on to the random bipartite network stuff. Yeah, too much wind up. All right. Well, no, I think there, there are some really important things in science that I just talked about. OK, so um, we want to find the average size of these components. So we have this. Uh, should I even try? Wow. Wow. Completely free. OK. Uncontaminated by markers. Good. Well, OK, we'll come back to these ones. Uh, so, so we've got some network. Right, we've got some network here. And this is some giant component. And we've got all these little pieces. Boom, boom, boom. So this is the giant component. If it exists, for example, right? And then so this thing that I'm going to say average n equals the average size of the finite components. So that's an important word here, finite components. Right, this is this thing where we don't have, we just, all our probability things where we talk about the probability of a component belonging to size uh, size, um, so, uh, probably of a node belonging to a component of size n, we're always avoiding this. Right? So if we sum up those probabilities, we get 1 minus the probability that you're in here. All right, let me. All right. Hopefully this won't be too painful. All right, let's do this thing. I'll try to stop saying all right all the time. A spoon. A spoon. <coughs> so if you have a generating function for a distribution and you want to find the average that that distribution is associated with, then you take the first derivative and set x equal to 1. This madness. Right? So we're going to, we've got x to the k. We differentiate that. The k comes down. So we've got k, x to the k minus 1 set x equal to 1, then that piece goes away. And now we've got a sum of k, p, k, basically. So it's the average of k. So this is a nice thing to do. We don't have to actually know the whole distribution if we know the generating function, which I think I've shown you in that last example is a, can be a bonkers thing that you can't really unpack, or maybe you don't want to. Uh, OK, so that's this point here. We're going to try to avoid, we can avoid it, or try to if we want to. And so. We have this result. So we're going to differentiate this thing and set x equal to 1. Right? So this is, you know, this is a simple kind of calculus, uh, calculus business here. We've got a, a chain rule and then a little product rule out here. Right? So uh, differentiate this guy first. So all of this goes to here. And then keep the x and differentiate this blob. And it's going to be a chain rule, right? So the internal part, that's the first derivative at the front. And then we have the first derivative of this with the same stomachs. Yeah? OK. All right. 
great things. Product rules, chain rules, these are really good, powerful things. Uh, and then we have, we always had these two equations, right? So this is the uh, recursion relation for the generating function for rho, and rho, again, is the probably that you go along an edge and you reach a finite component, just that blob out there, of size n. Right, we had this whole story about stitching them every, everything together. Okay. So we're going to differentiate that. It's the same kind of thing, right? That x will go to 1 here. We'll have the same blob. Differentiate this. Uh, the x stays here. Differentiate this. We have the inside comes out. Here it is. Do boink. That's pretty good. So now we can set x equal to 1 in both of these. And then we'll just have a, a, a we, can, we can solve this for this quantity. Right, the first derivative of this, which gives you the average component size that you reach along a random edge, finite component size, right? Right, providing you hit a finite, uh, a finite component. What is this average size? All right, <coughs> no, it's built into it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and so we already have some other pieces. Um, So we could do that. So why am I saying this? So part of the reason is, in the previous example, we were able to get this guy fairly well. We got this. Hmm. Yeah. All right. OK. So you don't have to worry about this too much. We'll get, we'll get through an example 